Hello, welcome to this video in which I'm going to be going through a different topic, a little bit off topic for my channel, but we're looking at some Meraki SSID tunneling. Now, I've recently had a, a deployment where we were looking to replace a Cisco um, anchor controller setup with the Meraki feature. Now, if you're not familiar with the SSID tunneling and the Cisco anchor controller, uh, I'll just draw you a quick diagram to emphasize what we're talking about. So in the, the typical Cisco world, um, you have a um, wireless controller. So this would be your wireless controller. Now this would be sat into your enterprise network and through whatever way you had access points that were connected and when the clients connect to the access points, their traffic would either come out the back of the wireless controller, so they would come across a tunnel, or you would drop that traffic uh, locally out to the switch where that access point was. But for guest traffic, uh, you typically then have another wireless controller here, and this one would be called an anchor controller. And you then set up a tunnel between these two wireless controllers, uh, this is a firewall. Normally this would be sat in a DMZ, so off the network, and then a client would associate to your guest traffic. And let's pick a different colour. So when the guest client associates to this guest SSID, instead of the traffic routing across the network, it actually tunnels through this tunnel and it's dropped into the DMZ here. And then the only way out for that traffic is to exit this way. So all the traffic is completely isolated from the rest of the network. So that's how the Cisco world does it. And in the Meraki world, they have the MX firewall. Now the MX firewall can be turned into a VPN concentrator. So we set that device, the VPN concentrator. Now I'll bring up the documentation that we're referencing. So if you're looking at tunneling anything Meraki SSID, you'll probably come across this document, uh, SSID tunneling. And in here, you need to configure your SSID to concentrate to an MX security appliance. So what that means is when you configure your SSID, uh, you say, I want to tunnel this to your MX device. And then the MX device you've got configured in the network will tunnel that traffic. Now further down, it shows you this diagram and it's not 100% clear um, exactly how this operates. So I'm just gonna go through uh, my understanding of it. So the way that this operates is that you have an MR. So this um, is your access point. Uh, so the MR device is, this is the AP, and the MX is your firewall, which is configured to run as a VPN concentrator. And when the um, MR device registers to the network, it has a, a local IP, is the IP on the inside but it also then has an external IP and this IP will be the IP address that shows from where you exit your corporate network and the the path out so up through here there'll be a firewall and then the public IP that is here that will be the public IP of this access point so when you and now connect any uh, Meraki access point, it will announce its external IP and its internal IP to the primary VPN registry and also to this second VPN registry. So this is uh, hosted in the Meraki cloud. And then when you bring an MX device, the same again, uh, this one's got a local IP and it's got an external IP. That is announced to the VPN registry. And then when you go into your SSID configuration for the Meraki SSID, you say, I want to tunnel this SSID 
to this controller. And what happens then is in the dashboard, it says, right, we've got two addresses here, these two publics and these two locals. Now, if there's two local addresses, then the connection will be made, the VPN tunnel will be made between these two devices here. So that is how the, the normal operation of the Meraki SSID tunneling works. Now there is also, clear this, there's also another option in, you can use this in a teleworker situation. So let's go back to the whiteboard and so as well as tunneling on the inside, so what we did there, uh, I'll show that in the other way. So say we've got our, our MX device here and you can actually sit this in a DMZ and you've got your firewall here. There's your internet. And then on the inside, so this could even be uh, somewhere, this could be an MPLS connection. And this could be a remote site somewhere. So you could have devices down here and you've got your access point. So you could, in theory, or I've actually, I've actually done this, uh, you want to tunnel guest traffic from this access point to go all the way out to this MX device in the DMZ. Same applies, this AP announces its public and its private address out here. This MX does the same, announces it out here. Then you go into the AP configuration, say I want to tunnel this SSID to here. And the Meraki cloud says, well, these two have got an inside address that we can talk on. And that's where we're going to do the talking and where the VPN tunnel forms this way. Now the third use case, so we can clear that. The third use case is putting it the other way around. So this time you can put your MX device here and you put this and they call it one armed concentrator mode. So it's just plugged in and this sits into your your network so you can plug this device into here um, and there's a path out to the, the internet and then you can have uh, corporate SSIDs that will be able to be connected to from a teleworker situation so if you're sat here in your house and you've got an MR access point you can plug this directly into your home network and then what happens in that situation is that MR is registered into this site here and when the MR comes online again it will announce its public IP and its private IP to the VPN registry. Then you say, I want to tunnel from this access point over here. And I want to get into this MX device here. So you can actually make the corporate SSID pop out in your house. Now this, well, as it's also announcing this inside address, um, it's not gonna connect because there's no connectivity between these two devices. So the tunnel has to be formed on the outside out through this broadband connection, through this firewall, and down that way there. So that is a very brief overview of the Meraki SSID tunneling feature. Uh, if you've got any more questions, then please do leave them in the comments, and I'll be popping a new video up very soon. Thank you.